Hi everybody, uh, this is another of my videos. What I'm going to do here today is I'm going to take you through the process um, of how to reset and reprogram the immobilizer and in this case we're going to be replacing uh, engine ECU. This is a Vauxhall Astra 2004 and um, the ECU is faulty on this car uh, but just to show you, as I'm going to turn the key on and obviously this is the original ECU that's still in there as you can see the immobilizer goes off with no problems um, so the, 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 the ECU is actually matched to the car so what we're going to do now is we're going to reset this um, whole ECU before we actually remove the ECU so this is a 2004, this is also known as a Tech 2 reset if you search. So this is the engine on the car. Okay, so you go under ECU to reset the ECU. The programming. Reset ECU. It's gonna ask you for the security code. The security code is already there because I've been playing with this so I press ok it says reset completely completed successfully and what you're gonna see now is that the engine uh, not the engine the immobilizer is blinking so if I try to start the car now this the car will not start okay so the ECU has been um, unmatched and paired divorced whatever you want to call it from the car so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna Go there, I'm going to take the, this ECU out, put the next one in, um, and uh, then we'll come back to show you how to reprogram uh, the immobilizer functions. Okay, ECU has been changed, there's another ECU in there. The ECU that I bought uh, is, I bought it blanked already, so reset it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the key on, and you're going to see that the immobilizer is going to continue to blink because the ECU in there is still not matched. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to reprogram this uh, second hand ECU so the car starts. What we're going to do is, we don't go under engine now, we go under body, and we go under sim, or immobilizer, it's absolutely up to you uh, how you want to do it, but we'll do immobilizer for example. All the immobilizer functions on this car, they are actually under the steering column, so... There we go. So now what we'll do is, we do programming. We're gonna go immobilizer programming. Press that. It's gonna ask you to input the security code. Security code is already there. We press OK. OK again. Now, what we're going to do is, is that function there, program immobilizer function. So we press that one. Now, it's going to ask you, there's a drop down menu that asks you which uh, module has been installed. So obviously, the one we're going to choose is that one only. So, engine control module. So we press that one. And we press do it. You're going to hear the, the fuel pump kicking in. So now we'll go back. We'll go back again. We'll go under fault codes. There's no DTCs on this uh, module. That's good. Now we're going to go back. Back again. And now we we'll go under engine. As you can see, the, the light's still blinking. Go under fault codes, and we're gonna clear these faults. That is the only one that's still coming up. We do close, close. We turn the key off. Key 
key back on and we go once more and uh, the engine and that code that was there for the wrong transponder key it should be now not present so we can clear the code before I clear as you can see the, the lights still on so as soon as I clear that code the light goes off and it says no DTC is present now we're gonna close all this back to there we're gonna cycle the key again and start the engine so engine off uh, key off key on start the engine and this is how you uh, reset and or reprogram a ECU into this voxel uh, the steps is quite the same for nearly most of the voxels anyway so this applies to uh, different models of voxels thank you for watching guys if you have any questions please just put them across and once again, thank you for watching, guys.